Let's never do it. He's known for his solo pay. play. You, you know, I, you know, for a very long time, I was a solo, solo only player. But then you know what I realized, chat? You know what I realized as a solo only player? That nobody gives a f that you're a solo, solo only player. Literally nobody. Not one single person. When you go home or you go on Twitter or you go on whatever and you flex that you only solo, nobody gives a single shit. So you end up playing solo queue by yourself and like have games where like nobody talks half the time. And you know, it's just kind of like the Overwatch experience. But you get to go home and you get to say, you played solo. Who gives a fuck? Just do, if you could, if I, dude, if I could stack, if I could stack, I'd stack all day long. I would literally only stack. That's it. I don't care if I'd end up being fucking diamond. If I could stack, I'd stack every day. Because stacking was actually fun. And playing this game with other people was actually fun. And to be honest with you, this whole solo queue shit, solo queue only mentality and to be honest with you the ladder is kind of designed to to support solo queue as a pure as anything else it's just kind of trash to be honest with you because if anything is if you guys have learned anything in the past few days with with the custom games that we did when when, when ranked was down to the quick play games that you know harb and emong and then played i wasn't in there because i was on my alt account i didn't know what was happening but to, to the to the open queue yesterday if i've learned anything if you have learned anything chat it's that overwatch in a solo experience isn't that fun right now and the fact that we gatekeep it to only be a solo experience is just kind of nonsense in my opinion and and <clears throat> you know like i understand like the want to not have you know the NYXL six stack at 4 a.m. and just yoink your SR. Trust me, I get it. But at the same time, though, you know, like, God, I miss being able to play with friends. You know? Pink, by the way, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate it. Much old, dude. Is open queue a lot of stacks? If we were below 3,900, which are not. Uh, we already tried to stack with car queue and it said that uh, our MMR was too high. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Overwatch 2's PVE is very heavily already focused on playing with friends, you can tell. Like, that's kind of the whole point of it, right? So if Overwatch 2's PVE is already very, very play with friends focused because you're going to play in teams of four. And that's for the PVE, not for, for PVP. Why the f*** does PVP encourage you to not play with friends if you're good at the game? Like, I, like it, 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 and to be honest with you, like you could honestly say like, oh, why don't you just play on another account? But it's like, you can't play on another account because then you know you're smurfing people's games and they get upset people get upset about that because like you know you rightfully so i don't want to play in their sr i don't want to ruin their games i'd rather just play with friends and have fun you know like i shouldn't have to get another account and play in a lower sr to be able to play with friends like that's that's dog shit you know stacks versus solos in the player base isn't big enough to match stacks versus stacks consistently that's you're not wrong but but that, this has been a thing since i since two years ago when the player base was much bigger and on top of that too the reason it it, it became that way is because people were complaining about the pro players stacking at night and f destroying people right so they, they implemented it and i get why they did but at the same time though we're still that's still that f kind of feeds into my argument of why why do we promote solo play over t playing with friends every time you know like i don't know if siege has done anything for it to be honest with you but when i played a lot of siege i never solo queued not because i wasn't confident i was back in like season three when like diamond was like 3600 or some shit, 
I was like literally 6,000 raid. I couldn't lose I couldn't lose diamond if I w literally went an entire day just AFKing. I literally couldn't lose it. And for those who don't know, diamond in 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 in, in Rainbow Six Siege before they changed the the rank, so like now there's a new rank that's like top 500 and stuff. Diamond was GM for 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 Rainbow Six Siege. Um like it was that, that was that's like the equivalent to being rated like almost 5000 in Overwatch. Like you couldn't lose GM if you tried. If even if you lost the whole day, you know? But it it didn't dis discourage you from playing with friends, you know, but like it didn't discourage you from playing solo either. You know what I mean? Like you could get to do both. And I think one of the best parts of games like Apex Warzone Fortnite etc is that they get like people get to play with each other you know no one gets more hype than when four five six content creators that everybody you know knows or people like people like play with each other you know in my mind it's kind of like a crossover from like a sitcom you know like 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 let's say you watch like your favorite tv show or even like your favorite anime let's say you're watching your favorite anime and i don't know let's say there was like a spin-off episode. Let's say it was like, I don't know. What would make sense? I want to have something that like kind of makes sense. I don't know, but like basically if, like back in the day, if, if you had, if you had like, I don't know. I know it's different errors. So it doesn't make sense. So this isn't like the best example. So like, don't kill me for it. But like, if you ever had like Goku show up at a f Naruto episode, that was like a filler episode, you know, like, even if it was something as stupid as like, he was just passing through town and looking for food. He was like, oh, I'm looking for the store or something. And like, they just like hung out for an episode. Like people would be like, holy sh that's sick. You know, and, and people would be like, oh, that doesn't make sense, you know? So it's like, not a great example. But if, it, if in the world it made sense to be like, hey, you know, there's this crossover that happened. It was kind of cool. People go nuts for that kind of you know? And, and, and the same thing happens like in, 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 in gaming and stuff like that, you know? And playing with friends and other creators and whatnot and people really really enjoy that whether they bump into them in the ranked game or whether they watch it and i think that we miss a we miss a big part of that here in overwatch i think the conversation needs to be started again about stacking in overwatch because in my opinion in my opinion a year and a half two years ago when brig when brig was released and goats dominated the game there became this very large stigma of the game that stacking was annoying and that being fo your team being held at the mercy of your teammates say in ranked right like let's say one team ran goats one team ran goats and the other team had a genji player the team with the genji player just lost right if you couldn't get him to swap so people would get really upset and be like hey i hate this experience because i have no control whether or not i lose the game now two years later people actually want team play back and they want to have impact with their teammates and coordination and synergy and i think the dev team did a very good job over the past year or two to move us away from team play but now that we've moved away from team play and we got metas like we had hog zarya for two or three weeks all of a sudden everybody wanted their team play again you know i feel like we as players don't even know what we want half the time you know so i think it's time because if we've we, we made the decision to move back towards team play again i think it's makes more than enough sense to look at the idea of stacking again. Team play is the move i think that the biggest thing ever could be like tournaments and in, in, you know in the browser in the in game you know and, and and i guarantee we see some stuff like that in overwatch 2. <clears throat> but I don't see a reason why we can't let people play with their friends now. I I, I think I think it's time, and, I, and I'd rather I'd rather it be like, you know, let's talk about the goods, bad, the uglies. You know, let's talk about the good, bad, the ugly. Like, hey, you know, stacking will bring, you know, games where that don't feel as good anymore. You know, like you feel like you're 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 gonna be in some trouble. Like if you face a six stack and you're six solo key players, you're probably in some trouble. 
But I remember the matchmaker used to do a thing where it would scale up the players you would play against. So if you were a six stack of 3,600 average, you would play some, you would play against solo queue average of around 3,800 players. So they wouldn't have your coordination, but they would have better mechanics, better game sense. So you had the better coordination, the better communication. They had the better raw skills. So like it was more fair than I think people gave credit for until the highest, highest level, which then you, there was no chance you were taking down the NYXL four stack four in the morning playing goats, you know? And if, you're, if, the, if the problem really is you're scared rid of pro stacking, Doesn't Overwatch League have a lot of kind of pull in that department and kind of make it so that if that's really a concern and I hate and I hate suggestions. I'm gonna be honest because I'm not in favor of it. I'm just putting it as a suggestion. Making it so that you know, if you are signed to an owl team, you can't stack more than three, you know, I think they used to have it so they can only stack more than four, you know, and, and to be honest with you, I think if we're going to bring stacking back, I think we first bring back three we go from two to three and see how it goes not go like pull back into like 6v6 because we can test it for a little bit you know we have a lot of we got a lot of time till overwatch 2 comes out you know and we're not going to be getting much content we all know that so why not play with what we got we've got a system already that supports stacking it's already it already existed in the game at some point so it's already out there I think this is one of the greatest times that we could experiment, you know? Nah, you want to see owl teams go against random teams of solo top 500s? Nah, the players don't want that though. It doesn't matter what you want at that point. Like, 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 I, and, and I think, I think that that argument gets, you know, it can even be thrown at the content creator thing. It's like, oh, I don't want to play against stacks, you know? And it's like, you know what? That's, I think that's fair. But I do think at some point, we had to just change the philosophy of how we look at, 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 at the ranked queues, you know? I, I I think even in games like Apex, solo queue is not the way to play the game. Like, you're you're encouraged to try to stack with other players and play with other people you know, because the solo queue experience, in my opinion, of what I've heard, isn't that great. But I feel like we've been, we've been told that solo queue is the way to go. Best content to come up was the four streamers get together. Oh yeah, remember? Chat, for those who don't remember, you know, a little ping here in here. One of my first, actually, I'll just show you. So I do, no, I'll just show you. I won't be lazy about it. One of the best videos on my channel. One of my first videos ever. Y'all wanna see it? And if you're watching this, you can go back and see it yourself. I started my YouTube channel realistically right here. These other videos were like kind of like, like, like trial runs. Boom, two hundred and five k views on realistically my second video ever. Why? Even though this thumbnail is one of the most hideous thumbnails ever. Sorry, retro. Six stack dream team. It's Fitzy J Emong. PMA jellies and SK and we lost we lost this game yeah retro retro the other look at the editing it's so bad Patrick, you might want to put it down because I feel like this is going to be content and I was right dude seven months ago I was right on this is going to relate with on July 13th I was literally a baby this creator at this point I, look at I don't even have the same, I don't even have the hair headphones anymore. This was content. And I was right. And to be honest with you, people enjoyed it a ton. So of course, as a creator, I'm gonna be a little bit biased and be like, hey, stacking would be better. So I think we need to weigh all the pros and cons of, from from profession from professional players, content creators. And the average player, <coughs> average, sorry, GM player, because nobody else has the issue. Only the GM players have the issue of stacking. So my proposal, my proposal is to raise the limit from two to three. From two to three. 
right now, most people don't even know when they're playing against a stack anymore because there's no longer the connecting lines to say like who's paired together, like the old system. So everyone feels like they're always solo queue or they're only playing against solo queue players. The only way to tell is if you try to invite them to a group and says, sorry, they're in a group. I don't think three stacks would bring that big of an issue. Um, or if any. And I think it would be a good way to test to see if we should go to four, five, six. Now, I'm suggesting three. I think that's a fair middle ground. I'd love to hear back. Because... I think the way that stuff like this gets changed or the stuff like this gets talked about is more people talking about it. And I think that's the way to, to, to do it.